up people and welcome to welcome back to my channel my name is Jocelyn if you're new to please like comment subscribe and share this video with your friends this is going to be the start of a very very unchartered journey for me so I am going to try to start my own dog accessory business side hustle whatever you want to call it featuring duke brooklyn is downstairs but yeah so if you didn't know i did have a social media management business driven in digital i really took a pause on that just because it wasn't really feeling fulfilling to me um i love social media but i think i like making it for stuff that i enjoy like i like doing it for myself like filming these videos i have a tiktok page did not bring me fulfillment like i thought it was and definitely taking a pause on driven in digital i did that for about two years started in october 20 21 i had an amazing experience and what i'm trying is completely new for me because i've never tried to make a product before i've always done like services for people that's what i did when with my other business driven and digital we're trying something completely new so i like i said i'm going to be trying to make dog accessories including bandanas collars leashes what else did i say i have a list on my phone of stuff that i want to try but funny thing is, I have never sewn a day in my life. All of their life, they have sewn, sewn stuff for me, family members, but I just never learned how to sew. So the first thing that I need to conquer is learning how to sew. Today is January 4th, 2024. Um, Right now, I do have my sewing machine. I will show you the one I got. I do have my great grandma's from when she, like the one she sewed on like my whole life. Um, my mom got it from her and she wanted to give it to me when she passed away. I don't, I didn't, I couldn't figure out how to use it. I plugged it in, it works still, but it's just an older machine, one there weren't, since it was an older machine, there's not a lot of tutorials on how to use it. And like I'm saying, I've never used a sewing machine before. And there was a online manual, but I just, I need a visual. I need like someone to show me how to do it. And then I got it. There's no YouTube video. So I did get the same brand of the one that she used, but I just got a newer version that has tons of YouTube videos on how to use it. It has directions on the machine on how to thread the needle, thread the bobbin thread the machine so today like i said today is thursday my main goal today is to just get area organized right now i'm sitting in the frog so let me show you what i'm what i'm working with so so this is my desk area here i took off my monitor my speaker a couple other things i had in here i just took off because i want enough space for the sewing machine um this is the sewing machine that i got i've not opened it yet because i do want to make like a tiktok video of me opening it but this is the singer 337 or also known as the singer simple and i really liked this machine because i don't think it'll show you yeah, it's not going to show you, but it has like up top here on the actual machine. It'll tell you how to thread the bobbin, which will go right here. And then the needle, which is on the back of the machine. This is why I got this one. I am going to unbox it today, but I just want to do it when I have time to really sit down and figure out how to do everything. I had a whole, I ordered a couple of things, so I'll show you that when it gets here sometime today. Um, And then over here, I did a little bit of rearranging. If you've been on my channel before, you'd know I've had these books over here. But this is going to be like my area that I want to store all my sewing stuff because I really don't want to have a mess everywhere. I just really don't. Like this stuff is going to Goodwill or going to like. And then here I got a couple of fabric squares from Walmart the other day just to practice with because I'm going to start off with the bandanas. But before I even try to make an actual bandana with that fabric, I'm going to use old bed sheets that I have laying around. And I also, there's a group in my area. They like meet up to do crafts and stuff. And one lady said that she had some, let me turn around for the lighting. She had some extra fabric that she's not using. So I'm going to, I messaged her. So hopefully she'll message me back and I can get some fabric so I can start practicing with real fabric. But I don't want to buy fabric just to mess up. So I'm just going to use like old sheets and like that I can find around places. That is the goal for today is just getting my space cleaned up and setting up my sewing machine and then getting all the, the all the stuff that i ordered together let me show you one more thing before i end this clip um these are patterns for the bandanas but i cut them out in cardboard so it's easier to do once i'm you know making a lot of them at a time so we have extra small small medium and large i will probably have to make a extra large one because i do have a family friend who has a extra large dog and i do want to make him one um, once I get good at it, just so share it on their social media, take pictures and stuff down the line. Um, those are like the main things I want to get done today. Um, and also I do not want to rush this process. Like January is going to be all about learning how to use the sewing machine, making a whole bunch of like practice bandanas. Like, um, obviously Brooklyn and Duke, I'll make them some. I have people at work that I asked if they would be interested in one. They said, sure. So it's just like practicing, making them for family members, friends, people at work to just 
practice making the bandana. That's all what January is going to be about. February is probably going to be more planning out the actual launch of the website, getting all my stuff together, because I don't even know if this video is going to get posted. Like, I'm just saying, like, I don't want to be, a lot of the times I go full force into stuff, which is good, but it's also like, I don't want to start something and then it's like, dang, do I even like this? But I do want to learn how to sew. I just think that would be a good skill to have because my mom already asked me, oh, when you learn how to sew, can you hit my pants? And it's like, okay, that's a good skill to have. And if I can use that to make something that is helpful for people, that's an added bonus so that is all my rambling for the beginning of this video um i'm about to go on my lunch break actually so i'm probably going to continue to clean up after i eat lunch i don't know when my amazon package is going to get here but hopefully it gets here soon so i can do an unboxing with you guys and yeah i'm excited to see where this journey goes i don't know when this video is going to go out but <laughs> I, as you saw, I unboxed my sewing machine. I, she's beautiful. Um, not gonna be biased, but I really love that there's blue on her. Like, I don't know. Let me take these off because I feel like I'm screaming because <laughs> they're noise canceling. But, like I said, I got. He just does that. But, yeah, I'm gonna start playing around with my machine. But I do have. Let me turn on this ring light because it's kind of dark over here. I do have an Amazon package that I want to open. I have like three more that are supposed to come today, but. I don't know when that's going to happen, so I might have to finish this tomorrow. But, let's open it up. That hit my foot and it hurt. Okay. So, I got, I got some pins um, for sewing. So, I'm glad that this came in a container. Oh, it's like taped up. So, I'm really glad it came in something like this. I will probably, actually, you know what? I have a jar. This is like a magnetic, like, pin. So, say you have, like, pins on the table it'll like pick them up so these are just all the pins i got but if you have like pins and you have them like on the table they'll be magnetic to the thing i probably shouldn't have done that but we have so much of these in the garage so i'm just gonna use that to organize all my sewing stuff because like i said i have a lot of more stuff coming in the mail today which i'm really excited so I think right now I'm just gonna start playing around with my sewing machine. I wanna practice like doing, like just using the machine, just basic usage of the machine. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and plug her up and get started. What I'm doing, and I'm just like so excited because this is not just me like starting, you know, if this turns into a business, cool, but it's also just me trying something completely brand new. Like I, like I said, I've never sewn anything in my life. This is gonna probably be my last update for the day. I'm still working on trying to figure out how to use the sewing machine. <sighs> right now I'm running into the problem that my thread keeps getting like stuck. Like, there you go. You can see like it keeps bunching up on the bottom and then the thread will get stuck under the machine. So I'm watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos to figure out how to fix it. So um, I'm trying not to get frustrated because I've been doing this for the past probably like two hours. I know it's going to be a learning curve. Like I've never done this before in my life. So it makes sense. But I did get um, two more Amazon packages. So the first one is just some thread and some bobbins. I think I'm going to try to use a different thread because my thread is not tight either in the machine. So that might be why it's doing that too. But it came with like whole bunch of colors like these and these and more right here like so many colors so that's pretty cool and i'm just gonna keep it in this little box right now because i don't have any other storage i might look into getting like some peg boards for my wall but right now i'm just not looking to buy that much stuff for this then i got another amazon package pretty sure this is just the mat so i can cut fabric on it Heavy. So this is just a mat where you can cut 
fabric on it. I'm still waiting for my blade and I think that's the last thing I'm waiting for. But this is just so I can cut fabric without like messing up my desk because this desk was expensive. Um, so yeah, that's all I got right now. But right now, I'm going to finish watching this YouTube video to see. Because the guy in this video, he actually has a singer machine. So maybe he'll like help me. But I'm going to get back to figuring this out. And I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, this weekend, I'm definitely going to focus on just learning how to use the machine. Yeah, I might try to find like a sewing class to go to in my area. So I can get hands-on help. But yeah. Alright, last update. I figured out what was wrong. I had to rethread this machine again. I already did it before, but I must have did it wrong again. I don't know, but I re-threaded it. Everything's good, and I did light, but I did some practice stitching. Um, now I, this is my last one I did. This one is pretty straight. Um, obviously I know it's like not the best. Like, I've only successfully done this three times. It is 6.30. I think I'm gonna stop for today. Um, but I'm just proud that I actually figured out how to set it up. Um, I just have to keep remembering to do the back stitch because I keep forgetting to do that. And I also know that you're supposed to like top thread in the bobbin thread a lot longer because I was keeping it really short and that was also causing it to go back under the machine and get caught up. Um, but also the back is looking really good too because I was getting, I was getting that bunching on the bottom of it, which that had something to do with the top thread, probably because it wasn't threaded right. So it was doing that, but... I think I'm going to try it a few more times. I know I just said I was going to stop, but now like I'm on a roll, so I want to make sure I'm good at it. I'm um, going to keep trying. I'm probably going to cut out an actual template of like one of the bandanas this weekend just to try, just to see if I can do it. And I will update you guys then. But shout out to, what's his name? Sewing Machine Repair Guy on YouTube because he that's the video I watched that helped me figure out what was wrong. So shout out to him if you're looking for sewing tips but that's all i have for now i was just really excited that i got that to work hey guys welcome to day two today is january today's the fifth right now it's like seven o'clock i think so i wanted to show you what i've been up to so far today um right now i am waiting for trying to practice making some bandanas but i need to iron it before this is the first one i did but it looks so bad because i couldn't iron it and i have to iron in the creases just so it's a little bit easier i might try a different way in making the bandanas though that looks a little bit easier i found some tutorials on youtube i'm not sure i want to try this one first this is the one i'm going to be using for duke because he is an extra small he's pomeranian so this wasn't working earlier so i really have not been able to do a lot of sewing today because i couldn't get the um iron to work and i really i can't do it with these with these wrinkles and creases and stuff so hopefully that works i did order a mini iron because i don't have to lug my mom's iron up here all the time when she needs it and it's just like a little um press it's kind of like the presses that people use for heat transfers it's not like a, a real iron so we'll see it gets here on sunday so hopefully i can work some more with that but since i've not been able to do a lot of like hands-on making stuff i have been working on my launch plan social media plan on my computer i've been watching a lot of videos just on launching and getting everything set up yesterday i set up my tiktok for my business because i have a personal tiktok but i do want to have a business tiktok as well um and then i was working on so these are the products that i want to have for my launch i'm thinking about m launching in march that gives me three months and then this is just like my three month plan of what i do so january right now is focusing on learning how to sew the bandana coming up with products which i already did february is more social media heavy um like this vlog like this small business vlog series will probably start coming out in february but i'm filming it in january i just want to have a lot of content just i just want to have content ready to go while i'm actually working on the product preparing my website and stuff because i haven't even looked at website stuff or domains or anything because like i said yesterday i don't want to go too hard too fast but i also really want this to work out so it's kind of like that weird juxtaposition in my head but a conversation i had with my friend today about work and working in nine to five really hit me like i just really want this to work out okay so that is what i'm doing hopefully the iron heats up and i'm gonna try to get some more like get some more practice in today i really want to go to joanne's tomorrow but it's supposed to rain all day but i might still go um because i just want to see what kind of fabric they have that's all the update i have now just wanted to give you one really quick and that's where we are right now. Alright, hey guys, welcome to day three. Today is January day, I was about to say day six, January 6th. Um, I'm right now, I'm at Hobby Lobby. I want to look at some fabric. And did you see what they have? Because I was going to go to Joann's today, but the closest one to me is like 30 minutes away. And I'm not, 
I'm not going all the way over there today because it's raining. So I'm at Hobby Lobby and then I want to go to Target because I need to get an iron. I ordered one on Amazon last night, but it won't be here until tomorrow. I don't know. I just want to see if they have a better one at Target and I'll just get that one in return or cancel my order for the one on Amazon. But I'm just really excited to see some fabric because I had some ideas of like bandanas with sayings on them that I want to do in the future. And I just want to see if they have them bandanas for that vibe I was going for. So I'm about to head in here. Um, I got my Starbucks water because I'm doing no takeout for the month of January. So yay. But yeah, I'm going to go in here. I'm probably going to record on my phone though because I don't want to bring my whole camera Hobby Lobby because it is Saturday and there's people in there. So let's see if they have something cool. I don't know if I'm going to actually buy anything today because I don't have my stuff set in stone. And I don't want to just be buying fabric for no reason. But if they have like a sale or something then maybe but yeah let's go they have so many colors and like styles this one is super cute oh, they have sock monkey oh my gosh that's so cute they have so many colors they got some more over here and it's like 40 percent off what there was a specific one i saw online that i want to see if they have these are all so pretty. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that one's cute. This one is super cute with the flowers. I'm thinking of like spring ones. This one. And I'm also thinking of dogs that I know who fit these patterns. Wow. I'm definitely going to be coming here. Oh, they have little teddy bears. Baby Yoda? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Alright, so I just got back out of Hobby Lobby. I knew I was going to find an iron in there. I just had a feeling that, like, I ordered one yesterday. And I was going to find one that's a little bit better. And I did. So, I got this Mighty Steam Iron. It was $28.99. Um, it heats quickly, blah, blah, blah. It, has a, it comes with a little storage bag, measuring cup, and instructions. So, I'm going to definitely play around with this when I get home. Um, the one I ordered off Amazon, I can't cancel it now, so I'm just going to return it when it gets here because I, there's no need for me to have two of them. And then I just got one um, fabric square with these little dog paws on them. I just thought it was so cute. Like, I, like I so, showed you guys, they had so many fabrics. Like, I don't think I've ever been to, like, the fabric side of a Hobby Lobby, so I don't know what I was expecting. And they had so many different ones. And the one that I was looking for that I wanted to do something with they had it there but obviously I want to practice making the bandanas and getting my you know stitching and stuff down before I pop buy a whole bunch of fabric to make some so I'm so excited um I really don't need anything else so I think I'm just gonna head home and start like playing around with the stuff and starting to practice my sewing and stuff so I'm really excited and let's get to Welcome to, I think it's been day three. I don't know how many days it's been, but today is January, today's January 7th. So, um, I did go to Walmart today, like this morning, and I did go yesterday after I ended yesterday's clips when I went to Hobby Lobby, because I just got in the zone, and I made Brooklyn and Duke bandanas. I'll insert some pictures here. Um, I don't really know if I like the bandanas, honestly. They're just a little bit harder than I thought they would be to make, because, um, it's really hard for me to do, like, straight <laughs> like straight lines right now honestly um i did find some hacks i put like some washi tape on my machine where i want the seam to like start i'm taking a pause on that and i'm starting to make scrunchies so that's my project for today for myself is to make some scrunchies but i think i might not have enough fabric because you're supposed to do six inches by 22 inches for a scrunchie but these are 18 by 21 inches so they might be a little small but this is honestly just for practice so I did get some more um, fabric quarters at Walmart yesterday. So I got this peace sign one, some dog paws, and some cherries. So I was thinking for, because I don't know if I'm going to want to do bandanas just right now. I just need some more practice with it. So I think I'm just going to continue practicing making the bandanas. So for, I'm thinking for like my first launch, I want to do 
scrunchies, dog bow ties, and keychains because I was thinking a lot of like pet owners want to match their pets. Like a lot of people do like matching pajamas, matching shirts. Um, but if your dogs are like mine, they don't like to wear clothes. So I was thinking like bow ties definitely because bow ties are cute and you can just snap them onto your collar because I did get some other stuff from Walmart that I'm going to show you that would go with the bow tie to make it a lot easier for owners to put them on their dogs. Um, because a lot of the dog bow ties I see are made with elastic and those are really hard to put on collars because you have to slide both of them through all the way to where you want it. Whereas if you had to snap bow tie, you could just take it on and off, change it, whatever you want to do. So that's what I really want to do. So, but today I'm going to focus on scrunchies because I just think that would be cool and I don't want to do something too extreme. Like next weekend, I have three days off, so I'm definitely going to take those days to perfect my scrunchie and bow tie making. And then I have to order, excuse me, the keychain hardware to make the keychains. Um, but I'm actually waiting because I just don't want to put so much money into this at one time and it not work out. That's why I've been getting these fabric squares. But next weekend, I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby and pick out a couple of colors and themes that I want to be in the first launch so I can really start making product. That's what I got yesterday. Then I went to Walmart this morning like I told you. I got a hot glue gun. This is for when I make the bow ties. Um, hot glue like the middle piece together so it covers the middle part of this um, bow tie. So I got this hot glue gun and I just really like how cute it is because Blue is my favorite color, so. And this was only $7 at Walmart. And I use a lot of my, like, Christmas gift cards to buy this stuff, so I technically didn't spend any money, so. Proud of myself. Um, I got some, a open ring snap kit. I'm gonna order the actual, like, presser thing <laughs> that you use to do this with on Amazon. But I just wanted to get some for now so I can practice. This was only, like, 2 bucks at Walmart because it only comes with 10 sets. So those are just gonna probably be for practice. Got some hot glue sticks for the hot glue gun. Um, some bobby pins. This is to um, put the elastic through the scrunchie to make it a lot easier to get the elastic through. Then I just got two things of elastic. Next time when I like make a lot of them, I'm just gonna order like a bulk thing on Amazon. But I also tape measures to make it easier for doing fabric. I do want to get a clear. They sell like clear rulers on Amazon, but they was like ten dollars, and I just want to find some other stuff so I can just order all at the same time instead of buying like one or two things off Amazon at once so I'm just like putting stuff in my cart and then I think I'm gonna start making like a budget out of my paycheck of like sewing stuff because yeah but I'm gonna go and try to do the scrunchies right now I'm gonna film on my phone too because I started my TikTok page the other day and I want to make it like where I am posting consistently to build up some awareness and the Amazon truck is here and I'm pretty sure that's my heat press that I need to return. So I'm going to put in a return on Amazon and I'm probably going to return that on Thursday uh, when I work from home. Just go buy Kohl's and return it. And then I might go to Hobby Lobby too because Hobby Lobby's right there. So that might be part of the vlog. But this today is going to be the last day of this vlog. This vlog is really just me like learning, making stuff and trying to figure out what I'd want to be in my store. So that is all for now. my first scrunchie it's actually in my hair but <laughs> i made my first scrunchie oh it's so cute i really like this dog pattern the only thing i did i put black thread in my um machine now because you can see the um the, um thread right here and i don't really like that i do want to get next weekend is martin luther king weekend so i'm off monday so i definitely am going to go to Hobby Lobby and get some satin fabric because I really want to make satin scrunchies because those are the kind I actually use in my hair because I have curly hair and this is th I have not I didn't make this one but this is like the vibe I'm going for because I really like satin scrunchies and then I will probably order that sometime this week honestly but I'm making another scrunchie it's the same uh pa or fabric but I made it a little bit smaller because I like this size too so I just cut the size I have of the original one in half and I'm going to see how that works. But I need to pin it because I had to use a seam ripper and take out what I had so far because it kept moving under the machine. But I'm going to continue working on this 
I'm watching a YouTube video right now. We're gonna get to get two. I want to get some clips, but I would rather order those off Amazon than get them at Walmart because Walmart, it had like 20 for $5. Amazon had like a pack of like, probably like 40 or something for like five bucks. So, yeah, but I'm just gonna use these pins for now. So yeah, I will check in with you guys when I get this scrunchie done. I'll probably try another fabric after this. I have two more pieces of the dog paw one, but I wanna try some other fabrics and see. All right, hey guys, I'm gonna give you one last update. I made another scrunchie, but my mom already has it, so I can't show it to you, but I did make this cute little dog bow for Duke, one of my dogs, um, but the snap portion, because I wanna make it easy for people to snap it on the dog collar and take it off, um, but I got this little snap thing from Walmart, and I just, it's not working, so I'm gonna order a like handheld one from Amazon. The keychain thing, the keychain hardware from Amazon as well. And all that stuff is only like 30 bucks. I'm gonna go ahead and order it. Did get my Amazon package that I'm returning on Thursday, so I'm just gonna say, yeah, it equals out, so I didn't spend that much money. Um, But yeah, so this is cute. I wanna make some more. Definitely wanna make one for Brooklyn too. You can probably hear her barking. But I think that is going to be all for this week's vlog. I'm going to pick up the camera again next week to show, like, what else I'm doing. I think next week I'm going to just focus on getting down my... Make some more scrunchies, make some more bow ties, and then I do want to start trying to do keychains. That's a lot, but thank you guys so much for watching this first video. I am very excited to see where this takes me. And yeah, thank you so much for watching.